Welcome fabricators. Microsoft Fabrics AI skills are now in preview, and that's what we're talking about today on Tales from the Field. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. So let's start off with what is an AI skill. An AI skill in Microsoft Fabric is your capability to very quickly create a rag pattern in Microsoft Fabric using our Azure OpenAI models. Remember, RAG stands for Retrieval Augmentation Generation. What this is, typically what customers want to do is they want to say, use my data, use my data as the search index. So that way I can ask questions about what's going on in our business and then I can get answers. Now, one of the things that we're going to do, and I'm going to note this very first and upfront, is that we've got to make sure we've got our data in a format where it's going to be really nice and easy to use with a rag. If we've got a lot of columns or if we've got a lot of tables where the names don't make a lot of sense in English, we're going to need to change our data. And I'm going to show you that first. So let's go ahead and stop talking about it. Let's get over to that great content. All right, so I'm starting out my Fabric Workspace in the Data Science pane, and I'm going to go to the AI Skill Preview. This first one we're going to make, we're going to call Movie AI Skill. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to select my data. I'm going to go to my Movies Data Warehouse in Microsoft Fabric. I'm going to confirm the selection. The schemas will load, and what I can do, I can pick this, I can say get started, but I'm going to go through and I'm going to pick some tables first this time around. Next time we're going to do it Second, we'll do the reverse order. I'm going to grab some sentiment, some scored tables that I have for movie sentiment. I'm grabbing mainly Marvel movies at this point in time, but I've got a lot of other sentiment tables also in here. Uh, Thor Ragnarok. Let's see what else I have. Uh, Deadpool 2. We're, we're all counting Deadpool as MCU now, right? Everybody's in on that. Uh, Captain Marvel, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Keep in mind, this is an older movie set. I can't scrape data and score it the same way that I used to be able to. Now, the first question I'm going to ask is what table with the text scored in the name has the highest count? Because I want to understand what the volume of scored data is. I, amazingly, Infinity War. It actually puts together this query for me, and you can see it gives me the result. That gives me a lot of hope. I might not have to change my data, but I don't think I've got it in the right format. So what table with text scored in the name has the highest count, but I also want it to ask, what is the count? I'd like to see what that count is as well displayed for the table. And I can't get to that. It's not creating a query in the way that I need. Honestly, I need to create a new query to be able to deal with that. Uh, my data is in the right format. Let's try something else. What are the total number of rows for each table that has the text scored in the name? Also can't get that. All right, let's switch over. Domestic movies. Uh, we have our domestic box office table. Which domestic movie has the highest gross? Now, I know the format of this data is not correct, and also the query has an issue. So what are we going to do? We're going to head over to our movies data warehouse, and we're going to go to Copilot. I'm going to ask Copilot to help me write some of these scripts so that I don't have to do this 100% on my own. Looking at my domestic box office table, you can see I've pulled in all the numerical values, but they're all as text data. That doesn't really work for me. Now, I need to convert my other fields, but we're going to start with just the gross. Write a script to create a new table, domestic movie from the table, uh, domestic box office. In this new table, we want to remove commas and dollar signs from the gross column, and the new column should be an integer. It creates a script for me. It's not bad. It's using insert into. I'm not sure if this is going to do exactly what I want it to do, but I mean, the copy, the cast for the select statement looks correct. Let's go ahead and give it a try and run this. When I run this, I get an error eventually. And trust me, that's coming. I would have done this as a CTAS operation with the cast and convert in there. So I'm just going to ask Copilot to do that for me. Do this as a CTAS statement. We get it as a CTAS statement. We run it. Now I can go and I can refresh my data warehouse and I can see that my domestic movies table will be created. Most importantly, I can see there's my gross column. It's now an integer value, which means I should be able to ask questions. But I need to do one other thing. I want to make it easier for me to get my semantic, uh, my counts on the scored data, the sentiment data. 
So you can see I create a new table, a C tabs, where I'm inserting the movie title and I'm inserting the data from the scored movies. So we're going to start from scratch. I'm going to go create a new AI skill. I'm going to call it movies. I could have edited my previous one, but I want to do this just from the start so we can see that I don't have all these errors built up. So I go in here, I say get started. Remember, I told you I was going to do it reverse order this time. I can still come in here, I can go under DBO, and I can select the tables that I want to get. Let's close Infinity War, and let's go down and let's find our new tables. I can see there's domestic movies, uh, and there's movie sentiment right next to it. I'm going to go ahead and push this back over so we've got a little more screen real estate. Now let's ask our questions. Now that we've got our data in the right format, and it's a little friendlier for us to be able to query, Let's see, what is the movie that has the highest sentiment count? Some fabric magic right there, Infinity Wars. Now that's the answer we got last time, but it's a good query and the movie and the query is correct. So let's expand this. What are the top 10 movies by sentiment count? You know what? Let's make it hard. Positive sentiment count. Boom, a little more fabric magic. You can see I've got my top 10 movies there. 1.367 for Infinity War, 1.34 million. For Black Panther, everything falls under. Now let's switch over to domestic. Uh, which movie has the highest domestic total? Avengers Endgame. I, the fabric magic just keeps coming and coming. So let's try one more. What are the top 10 movies by domestic gross? Boom, there we go. Once again, I've got my top 10 movies by domestic gross. I'll, I can go ahead and publish this. We could edit this. We could add custom queries. But this was hitting all the things that I wanted to. Remember, this is that rag powder, retrieval augmentation generation on my movie data. Now, after I publish it, it's going to create an endpoint for me. Where do we use this endpoint? Well, we can use this endpoint to be able to call it from an application or from a notebook. So I'm going to come over into a notebook that I have. I don't even have this attached to a lake house. This is some simple code from the sample. By the way, that's in the description of the video. I've got the link to this, and we'll probably make a video on this as well. I'm just going to replace the URL, and I'm going to update the question. Instead of what is an example product, let's go ahead and let's expand on this even more. What are the top 20 this time? Let's do 20. Top 20 movies that have the highest gross. I didn't specify a table. This is just plain English. How does this work out for us? Well, right now you can see my Spark is starting up, my Spark session. And then what it's going to do is it's going to go out and it's going to use that AI skill to be able to retrieve that data against my data warehouse. I'm in a notebook, not even attached to a notebook. I didn't need to use a three-point naming convention. And there's that fabric magic. I've got my top 20 movies and I've got the data associated with them, the gross associated with each of these movies. This is wonderful. I can imagine all types of ways that we can use this. And we didn't even dive into the capability to correct queries or to even be able to add additional skill items and answer questions that we know users are going to want to end up using. Once again, I am just floored. What an easy way to create a rag pattern using Microsoft Fabric data that we already have in Fabric. Sound off. Is this something you're using? Are you excited about AI skills? Have you tried it out? We would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining us on Tales from the Field. And always be good to one another out there. Bye, everybody. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood and